Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a venue steeped in history. We're here at Stadium Australia in Sydney. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And it's first time around for these two countries in the group stage here at the 2023 World Cup. It's England and they take on Haiti. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. The England first 11. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And a look at the Haiti starting 11. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And they kick off here. Louis Dumornay. Couldn't hang on to the ball. And over the touchline for what will be an England throw. Stanway did well to win the ball back and it looked as though they might be in just for a second or two now she could do a bit of damage and the keeper more than equal to it Let's see about the delivery. And the problem not completely solved. Daniel Etienne. Mondesir. And players waiting in the centre. <laughs> Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. But then the one that goes astray. bronze and out of play the pass nearly worked out but not quite
Good work from England to win it back. Kira Walsh. Surely! And the keeper getting across to stop it. And played short. Firing is in. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay. And as you can see, this is almost perfect. Lots of curl and enough pace on it. The keeper had no chance. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. <laughs> Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Merci du Mornay. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. A deft clearance. Well, a corner kick it is. Let's see if they can put this to good use as they try to add to their advantage. Going short. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Growing pressure here and another corner. Well, opting for the short corner. Oh, great defending. Etienne. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. This might be ideal for the counter. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Georgia Stanway. Well, they might be onto something. Not to be this time. Borgella. Well, possibilities in the centre. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Well, it's been quite clear that England have been second best in terms of possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. And the threat on the counter attack is very real. Here they come again. It's got to be! And it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here it is again. The cross is inch perfect, just begging somebody to run onto it. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Louis. Merci du Mornay. 
perfect challenge Lauren Hemp chance to finish oh remarkable save well it's great reflexes from the goalkeeper she had no right to make that save Keen to take it short here. Chloe Kelly. Timely intervention. Borgella. Bacheba Louis. Shirley Jeudy. Is this the moment? A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. And a poor ball. Kira Walsh. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Oh, surely. And there we have it. She's only gone and made it a brace. Nobody can stop her. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. taking into account all the stoppages two minutes to be added on opportunity here and the referee's verdict is penalty kick well no card just a warning and a fair few protestations well not every foul is a yellow card I think the referee is right here And the keeper denies them from the spot. And short it is. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So the ball moving again, the pendulum having already swung England's way. Will we see more dazzling football from them in this second half? Happy to take on the shot. Well, tremendous block. Jennifer Limage. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Dumonet. Oh, a nearly moment, but not quite good enough. Well, you certainly can't fault them for effort. They keep applying the pressure, and if they can just nick one, they're right back in this.
Jess Carter. Now with Nobbs. Carter. Nobbs. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. England moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? A well, disappointing end to the move. Nerilia Mondesia. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Georgia Stanway. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Lucy Bronze. On to Nobbs. It needs an accurate cross. Real chance. And it goes. Well, it's one goal after another. A highly impressive performance. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the action continues with England very much bossing this game. So a half an hour remaining. Rosalor Borgella. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Late towards the near post. And a header goal it is. Right on cue. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And she just finds that bit of space in the box, which makes the header so much easier. It's a very good goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Nobbs. Jordan Nobbs. Georgia Stanway. England unable to retain possession. Plenty of support here. There's a slide rule pass. A tremendous block. Bacheba Louis. Jeudi. Nerilia Mondesia. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Kira Walsh. Firing it towards goal. Well, she was up to the task. And they're making a change. Let's see about the delivery. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. A really vital interception. Louis. That's useful play. Opportunity. And the keeper was up to the task.
And over it comes. Well, it still could be dangerous. Takes the shot. Oh, another one for them. And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much back on. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Well, how about this? 4-3. Lauren Hemp. Kira Walsh attacking possibilities for England but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end it's got to be oh it's in and that might be the goal that clinches it for them no looking back now surely Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Limage. Mondesir. Jeudi. Going well. And it might be. And there it is. All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we could have in store for us. Well, here it is again. What a good build up this is. Quick, incisive passing, clever movement, and all done at pace, which led to a simple finish. That's a real joy to watch. And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Russo. Lauren Hem. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, she's been warned, but not cautioned in this case. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Now, who can she pass it to? And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Neve Charles. Stanway. A very effective challenge put in. Now still pressing for a goal here. That is how to apply the pressure. And there goes the final whistle. Very acceptable from an England point of view. A victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on that performance? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory.